All right, praise the Lord. Today's word of the day comes from 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. 1 John chapter 1, verse 9. And John says, if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Praise the Lord. This is a foundational truth and definitely in our church. It's something we talk about quite often because the key to deliverance, healing, and growth is in confession. Praise the Lord. And and uh, there's tremendous power in confession. And it's definitely one of the pillars of what we do here. Praise the Lord. So we might say, well, let's see what we got next here. Well, yes, uh, in the Old Testament, it's not just a New Testament thing. Proverbs 28, verse 13 says, He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Amen. Praise the Lord. It's God's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And it's always been about confession. When we confess our sins, that's when we have we get the mercy of God. He just wants us to be honest. Adam and Eve, he actually pushed them to confess before he covered them. He said, did you eat of the tree? Just to get them to confess. Yes, they have excuses, but they still confessed. And that was the important part. And that is, so they confessed. God always wants us to confess our sins. And so, praise the Lord, we see that when we do and forsake them, it doesn't mean we can just continue sinning and think we're going to get away with it. But confess and forsake them, we'll experience God's mercy. Praise the Lord. Now, the question is, well, I go to God and I just confess to him and I'm good to go. Well, James 5, 16 says, confess your trespasses to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Amen. You see, um, if if we confess to God and we don't, you know, we're still not feeling that growth and that blessing and everything else, it's probably because God knows it's easy to confess to Him. It's hard to confess to someone else. It takes humility. Now we. Uh, you've heard me say many times, and we're not just to confess to just anyone. We ask God who to lead us to, who we uh, we can know will be held accountable for repeating anything we confess and so forth. And um, But confession, when you get two or more witnesses in agreement and that prayer comes, that's when true transformation happens, true healing and true cleansing. And so we have elders, such as the elders of this church, the pastors, that you can contact and we are held. God will not let us get away with sharing what we hear. And we would also be judged because we're just as guilty as anyone else. He will expose us if we expose someone else. And God has moved us not to share. If we, if any of you need to confess something, there's, you will not be judged. You will just get prayer and you'll be healed and you'll know it. You'll feel it and you'll be able to move on. You'll know that you're forgiven. Praise the Lord. This is what God does with us. Praise the Lord. Acts 19, verse 18, you see here believers already, and many who believe came confessing and telling their deeds. Amen. You see, it's all about getting that out and sharing it. And, it, you know, all of us have sinned, and so it's not going to be a surprise to anyone. And, and, um, and it's just, we all just want to see each other set free. That's the bottom line. And that's the way to be set free. Now, we might say David in Psalm 51 was confessing to God against you and you alone I sinned and so forth. But if there's anybody who's confessed in front of every everybody on the planet, it's David. He didn't just confess to God. He wrote down his sins for all of us to read each and every time we read the Bible. That's how confession, how much confession he gave to everyone he exposed himself to the whole world uh, by by documenting his sins. And so um, it is truly uh, a humbling thing, but it's a, it's a powerful thing as well. Praise the Lord. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for this today. Uh, we thank you for reminding us a confession, how important it is. And we thank you that you are faithful and just to forgive us 
our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness when we do confess. We ask you, Lord, to check our pride and help us, uh, humble, humble us and, and help us and guide us to a person that you uh, know that we can put our faith in. Uh, we put our faith in you to keep that person in line and um, help us not worry about being judged. Just help us be humble and share. And uh, truly, it does set us free. So let there be no one on this call still hanging around with something that they need to get off. Convict us, Lord, and set us free today in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. That is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.